My name is Rob Salguero Gomez, and I am an associate professor in ecology at the Department of Zoology of Oxford. One of the main challenges that ecologists and also society in general are facing is our inability to understand and predict how natural resources are going to change with time. Ecologists have come up with experiments in the field that are aimed to simulate what may happen into the future today. Grasslands are usually a really overlooked type of ecosystem around the globe, even though they cover a huge percentage of the terrestrial surface in this planet. In Raindrop, what we are doing is we're simulating droughts and also extreme events of rainfall by using rained out shelters. And what we are doing with these experiments is we're following the communities that live under those rain out shelters through time in order to understand and predict how climate change might affect them into the future. So the metal structures that you can actually see in the field, we call them rain out shelters, and they are in place to help us simulate in situ extreme events of precipitation on the one hand and drought on the other hand. So if you take a close look to the different rain out shelters, you'll see that they're slightly different. Hi, I'm Sarah Middleton and I'm a plant ecologist and I'm a researcher here at the Raindrop Experiment at Whiteham Woods in Oxfordshire. My interest in ecology started, I think, as a very young child. I spent a lot of time outdoors, climbing trees, looking at insects. Uh, looking at spiders and snails and all kinds of sort of living creatures and things and just trying to sort of fulfill my curiosity of trying to understand how the natural world works. My research involves taking three groups of measurements. So the first is looking at plant characteristics or traits and that involves um, looking more in depth at the, the leaves, the characteristics of the leaves and that involves lab work. The second part um, involves looking at um, plant demography, which is looking at the key moments in a plant's life, so it's, it's uh, survival, growth and reproduction. And that involves um, taking measurements of how tall the plant is, measuring the number of flowering stems it has, the, the size of the flowers, and then the third group of measurements looks at the, uh, the neighbourhood effect of the species. So I have a target species, which is Brachypodium sylvaticum, which is a, a grass species. And I'm looking at the effect of the neighbouring um, plants and seeing how that affects the growth and the survival. I record the different species uh, or the different types of plants around my target plant and record their size and how many there are using um, these uh, acetate sheets and I record in a, a given area, a 30 centimetre radius, all the different plants that are neighbouring that target species and I'm looking to see what effect it has on the growth, uh, the survival growth and reproduction of my target species. Hi, I'm Andy Hector and I'm Professor of Ecology in the University of Oxford Department of Plant Sciences. So I um, helped establish the raindrop experiment here at the University of Oxford Whiteham Woods in these grasslands about five years ago. And actually not just here at Oxford, but all around the world, because raindrop is part of a global network called DroughtNet, which is looking at the effects of climate change, drought, all around the world. So the point of raindrop is to try and look into the future. So we're predicted to have more extremes of, of weather as climate change advances and we want to find out what's that going to do to grassland ecosystems. Climate change scientists are predicting at the moment that we should be going to get more extremes of weather, more extreme uh, wet weather and more extreme droughts. And so they pose real challenges to plants in terms of water logging one moment and shortage of water um, droughts the next. And that's important for us to try and uh, mitigate those changes and to be able to plan how productive are they, these systems likely to be in the future and so on. I think science is definitely a really fulfilling career, I would say. You get to do all kinds of amazing things, such as um, setting up your own experiments, thinking up questions, reading scientific papers and reports, discussing your work with other scientists, going to conferences, attending seminars. Um, so it's a really fulfilling um, career, and I'm excited to see kind of where this kind of path leads me and where I end up. <laughs> so if you do the raindrop experiment on your windowsill, uh, house plants or some herbs you're growing at home, give some what you think is the ordinary amount of water, give some a bit less and give some a bit more. And we'd love to see what happens, so take some pictures and send them in and we can see if your results look like our results. <laughs> <laughs>